Henry Ford was born on July 30, 1863, in Dearborn, Michigan. His father, William Ford, was a farmer, and his mother, Mary Lidigott Ford, was a homemaker. Henry had five older siblings and one younger sister. As a child, Henry was fascinated by machines. He would often take apart his father's watches and clocks to see how they worked. He also built his own toys, including a steam engine and a bicycle. When Henry was 16 years old, he left home to become an apprentice machinist. He worked in several different machine shops before getting a job at the Edison Illuminating Company in Detroit. In 1891, Henry married Clara Jane Bryant. They had one son, Edsel. In 1893, Henry built his first car, the quadricycle. It was a small, four-wheeled vehicle with a gasoline engine. Henry was not satisfied with the quadricycle, so he continued to experiment with different car designs. In 1896, Henry founded the Detroit Automobile Company. The company's first car, the Detroit Automobile, was a commercial failure. Henry left the company in 1899 to start his own company, the Ford Motor Company. The Ford Motor Company's first car, the Model A, was introduced in 1903. The Model A was a modest success, but it was the Model T, which was introduced in 1908, that made Henry Ford famous. The Model T was a simple, affordable car that was easy to drive and maintain. It quickly became the most popular car in the United States. By 1913, the Ford Motor Company was producing over 200,000 Model T's a year. In 1914, Henry Ford introduced the assembly line at his factory in Highland Park, Michigan. The assembly line revolutionized car manufacturing by allowing Ford to produce cars more quickly and efficiently. The assembly line also allowed Ford to pay his workers higher wages. Ford believed that if he paid his workers well, they would be more productive and loyal. Ford's $5 a day wage was more than twice what most factory workers were earning at the time. The assembly line and the $5 a day wage helped to make the Ford Motor Company the most successful company in the world. By the 1920s, Ford was producing over half of all the cars sold in the United States. Henry Ford was a controversial figure. He was criticized for his anti-union policies and his support of Adolf Hitler. However, Ford was also a visionary businessman who revolutionized the automobile industry and made cars affordable for the average American. Henry Ford died on April 7, 1947, at the age of 83. He left behind a legacy as one of the most important and influential figures in American history. In addition to his accomplishments in the automobile industry, Henry Ford was also a pioneer in other areas. He developed new methods for mass-producing glass and steel. He also established a network of hospitals and schools for his employees and their families. Henry Ford was a complex and contradictory figure. He was a brilliant businessman who revolutionized the world, but he was also a ruthless capitalist who was willing to exploit his workers. However, there is no doubt that Henry Ford was one of the most important and influential figures in American history. Henry Ford's impact on the world Henry Ford's impact on the world is vast and immeasurable. His invention of the assembly line revolutionized manufacturing and made cars affordable for the average person. His $5 a day wage helped to raise the standard of living for millions of Americans. And his Ford Motor Company was one of the most successful companies in the world for many years. Ford's impact was not limited to the United States. His cars were sold all over the world, and his assembly line methods were adopted by other manufacturers. Ford also played a role in the development of the modern highway system and the suburban lifestyle. In short, Henry Ford was one of the most important and influential figures in the 20th century. His impact on the world is still felt today. Henry Ford was a really important man in history. He did something that changed the world forever. He made cars that many people could afford. This made life easier for lots of people. Henry Ford was born on July 30, 1863, 
in a place called Greenfield Township in Michigan. Back then, cars weren't common at all. People mainly used horses and carriages to get around. It was slow and not very efficient. But Henry Ford had a dream. He wanted to make cars that were cheap and good. He wanted to make cars for regular people, not just for the rich. And he did just that. In 1903, Henry Ford and some other people started the Ford Motor Company. This was the beginning of something big. The first car they made was called the Model A. It was a simple car, but it was affordable. This car started to change how people lived. Henry Ford didn't stop there. He kept improving his cars and making them even more affordable. He introduced the assembly line, a way of building cars faster and cheaper. This was a huge deal. It made cars even more accessible to regular folks. The most famous car made by Henry Ford was the Model T. It became known as the Tin Lizzie. This car was a real game changer. It was super simple and robust. People loved it and it became incredibly popular. Because of the Model T, more and more people could go places quickly and easily. They didn't have to rely on horses anymore. This changed how cities were built and how people lived. Roads and highways became more important, and the car industry started to grow. Henry Ford's ideas also changed how people worked. His assembly line made factories more efficient. Workers didn't have to be highly skilled or work as hard. This was a big step in the history of industry. Ford's ideas and inventions were so important that he became one of the richest people in the world. But he wasn't just about making money. He believed in paying his workers well. This was another big change. Ford wanted his workers to be able to afford the cars they were making. In the 1920s, cars were everywhere, and it was all thanks to Henry Ford. He made driving a car something that almost anyone could do. Before him, it was a luxury, but he made it a necessity. Henry Ford's legacy goes beyond just cars. He changed the world in many ways. His ideas about production and affordability influenced many other industries. He also supported innovations like airplanes and tractors. But like all great stories, there were some bumps in the road. Ford's ideas weren't perfect, and he had some controversies in his life. He had strong opinions, and not everyone agreed with him. Still, there's no denying that he left a lasting impact on the world. Henry Ford died on April 7, 1947, but his legacy lives on. The cars we drive today and the way we make many products are still influenced by his ideas. So, when you see a car on the road, remember that it's not just a machine. It's a piece of history, thanks to the man named Henry Ford.